hello friends welcome to coding simplified in today's tutorial we will see the logical operators used in java right so mainly we will see these operators so first we will see the end operator then or operator then exclusive or operator then invert operator right so let's go through them one by one so uh, first we will take the end operator so end operator says that if both conditions are true then only it will execute the statement right if any of the condition is false then it won't go inside that statement right and the most important thing is that as soon as it finds out that first condition fails it doesn't check the second condition so like in this case we are saying if a is greater than 5 which is not so it will not execute or it will not check the second condition right so if you run the value of b so that will be 5 right so run this program and you will see the output that obviously it is wrong because it won't go inside this but value of b equal to 5 right because it hasn't executed this condition but when you change operator to single ampersand then it executes the second condition doesn't matter whether first condition is true or false right so like in this case this condition is false but it will go inside this and it will execute the function obviously the output will be depending on the both condition so like in this case this is false but this is true so both are uh, like true and false and is false so output will be wrong but the value of b will increase to the 6 so run this program and you will find the value of b equal to 6 right so this was about the end operator and now we'll see the or operator so first we'll see the or operator of this okay and let's take values so let's take it to 1 okay so similarly for the or operator it says that if any one condition is true it will execute that statement right so similarly as soon as it checks that first condition is true it doesn't check the second condition because it says that obviously i have to check only one condition so if first condition is true then there is no need to check the second condition and it will execute this function right so if you run this program then obviously a is greater than 1 because it is 3 so it will it will print correct but it will not execute this statement or this condition so b will be 5 only right but if you change this operator to single or operator or we also say to known short circuit or operator then even if first condition is true it checks the second condition right so run this program and you will see that value b has been incremented to the 6 right so this is the difference between single end and double end operator as well as single or operator and double or operator right and now we will see the xor operator ok so xor operator says that exactly one condition must be true for it to execute that statement right like if both conditions are false then also it won't execute that function and if both conditions are true then also it won't execute that function so exactly one condition must be true right so like in this case a is greater than 1 so this is true and plus plus b is also less than 10 so this is also true so this will not execute this statement and it will give you answer wrong and like or operator execute the both conditions it checks the both conditions so if you run this program then it will say this is wrong but value of b has incremented to 6 right and so let's take if you check this one like if a is greater than 1 so this is false and this is true so exactly one condition is true so it will print this correct and b will increment to the 6 so run execute this function and you will see the output right 
so this is the exclusive or operator and now we'll see the invert operator so for invert operator just remove this and let's take on the this one uh, right so first like simply if we check if a is greater than 4 so we say that this is false right so if you run this program then also remove this one so if you run this program it will print wrong right but if you say is then it what it does it invert the boolean value right so the boolean of this was false but we are inverting it so it will become true and it will print the correct right so run this program and it will give the correct output right so this is the inversion operator right so we have covered the all operators all logical operators and as well as these single and operator single or operator and or an exclusive or operator they can be used as well as the bitwise operator as we have studied in the previous tutorials so they can be used as bitwise operators so friends this is all about the logical operators used in java programming and in next tutorial we will see the switch statement uses in java so thank you friends for watching the video and if you like my video then please like it and subscribe my channel and for more information you can visit the codingsimplified.com site for it so thank you